I was in Italy a few months ago and uh, I was standing in the queue to go to see the Colosseum. It dawned on me that I was paying money to go see something that was 2,000 years old. It was definitely impressive, but it got me thinking that empires peak and die. They have their golden era and then fall by the wayside. And the thing is, is that when you are peaking in an empire, you never think that your empire will fizzle away. And it got me thinking, where in the world do we have empires that are breathing in? And where do we have empires that are breathing out? <clears throat> and obviously the most incredible one that we're watching right in front of our eyes <clears throat> is America, the empire of America, which has got punctures in it. It's losing its power. It's losing this huge energy that it had, which really came about after World War II when pretty much most of the world sent all their gold to America. And then America created the dollar as the standard and it gave it all its power. And because of that, for the last 50, 60, 80 years, we have seen America as this huge superpower. But it is starting to diminish and the power is starting to wane. And if we think about Italy, <clears throat> the Roman Empire peaked 2,000 years ago. England peaked 120 years ago when the old saying was, well, oh boy, the sun never sets on the British Empire. <clears throat> In hindsight, um, they stole and pilferaged <laughs> the whole world to create their empire. And the Dutch Empire peaked 300, 400 years ago. And so we have to think to ourselves, when this transition is happening, while this transition is happening, which empires are breathing in? And if we can understand which empires are breathing in, then where do we position ourselves? Where do we want to be in the process of being in an empire that's breathing in or sticking around when an empire has lost all its energy? <clears throat> and from my research and from my experience and Please add any comments below to this video if you think any differently. But there are three places in the world right now that are breathing in. The UAE, Saudi Arabia, and China. These three places are bolstering their energy. They have this vision of the future. They have an ideology of where they're going. And if you think about the rest of the world... Ooh, they're holding on to old successes. Don't want to change too much because the power already lies there. These other three regions are moving towards something exciting, something in the future that they are envisaging, envisaging and building towards. And so I think about New York a lot back in the turn of the 19th century where they were inviting people in to come and create this incredible energy, this capital of the world, that New York became. Dubai is doing that right now, inviting people to bring about this new world capital, this new world metropolis. And it's got its haters and it's got its lovers, but in effect, it is the most exciting place in the world to think about the future. I think Saudi still has a way to go. I'm not really aligned with China's processes and uh, don't quite trust it as yet, but. For me, the question to ask ourselves in 2022 is what do I need to let go of? What do I need to simplify in my life? And how do I position myself in the flow of the next growth of empire to push myself, to push the ideas I have about myself to the extent and beyond the extent of what I'm capable of? And that's what empires do when you're positioned in an empire that's growing, that's evolving. You automatically become part and parcel of that process. So in 2022, the two questions you need to be asking yourself is, which parts of my life am I simplifying and letting go of back into 2021 and behind me? And where do I want to position myself into the space of newness of the future and of empires that are breathing in? Wishing you a great 2022. I'll chat to you soon.